What's up and welcome to My Point of View. I am your fat and opinionated host and apparently there is a change.org petition floating around online right now that is calling for Ann Taylor, Brian Koberger's public defender, to step down from representing him. As you know what else is floating online? Everyone is talking about the new video game Hogwarts Legacy. I used my own money to buy a couple of extra copies to give away to you guys and gals. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and follow the rules in my pinned tweet for your chance to win a copy. But anyway, at the time of this recording, this change.org petition has around 20, 2,500 signatures. Now, by the time you're watching this video, that will probably change. You could do us a favor and drop what the number is now. Whenever you watch this video, let us know how many signatures are on the petition now because this is going to keep updating all day. But at the time of this recording, we are just shy of 2,500 signatures. Now, as you all know, Ann Taylor actually represented one of the victim's mothers and another one of the victim's parents, step parent and regular parent. But I mean, in my opinion, that, that's just kind of awkward. You know, she just dropped her, her case that she was working on like a hot potato, working with Zana's mom. And then out of nowhere, she's like, okay, I'm taking the Koberger case. Because in reality, in my opinion, she knows it's a high profile case. And I don't blame her for wanting to be attached to one. I mean, maybe she has big dreams for her career. Maybe she thinks this is a chance to, you know, get some type of popularity or to make her career go better. I don't know. But it became apparent to me that she actively wanted to be a part of this case. So much so that she dropped everyone else and everything else that she was doing. So plenty of experts have spoken out and they all think that this is a conflict of interest. They think that further down the line, if Brian Koberger calls for, you know, a retrial, they think that Brian Koberger could bring up the fact that this woman represented the victim's moms. Therefore, he could say, you know, this isn't a fair trial. This, I didn't get a fair legal defense. She worked alongside the victim's parents. So I'm not saying that is or would happen, but to prevent that from happening, I understand why people don't want Ann Taylor in this situation. But let's go ahead and see what this um, petition says. Sign this petition to remove Ann Taylor as Brian Koberger's attorney. Ann Taylor, the chief of the Kootenay County Public's Defender's Office, began representing Koberger 28 after he was extradited in Ohio where he is charged with four counts of first degree murder and one count of felony burglary early in January. Taylor, who is chief at the County Public's Defender's Office was the attorney for one, possibly three, of the victim's family members only to drop them as clients to pursue defending their children's alleged killer, Brian Koberger. Taylor was defending Koberger's alleged victim's families back in November 2022, only to drop them as clients once an official arrest was made on Koberger. Court records show Taylor filed an attorney withdrawal notice in county court for victim Carnado's mother, Kara Carnado, on January 5th, the same day Koberger made an initial appearance, an initial appearance in the Lata County courtroom. Naima Romani, an attorney and former federal prosecutor, said there is a potential conflict of interest because Taylor presumably has to cross-examine the parent during the guilt or death penalty phase of the trial if necessary. The public defender's role as a lawyer for a victim's parent where she now represents the alleged unaliver at a minimum, presents an appearance of a possible conflict. Ann Taylor filed a document asking the court to withdraw from representing her former client one day after Brian Koberger was extradited to Ohio to face death penalty charges for the fatal unaliving of Zana and her boyfriend Ethan and two other roommates, Kaylee and Madison. A legal expert has warned that quadruple Murder suspect Brian Koberger could have his conviction overturned if his current attorney does not recuse herself from the case after a glaring conflict of interest came to light. A legal expert is now calling for Taylor to recuse herself from
from the Koberger case as he believes it could result in the suspected killer appealing any result in which he is found guilty. California litigation lawyer Matthew Barhoma says that Taylor seems to want to work on the case with Koberger, describing it as an odd and unique situation. There is a very high likelihood that the parents are going to testify in the trial, especially if it becomes a death penalty trial. The parents and the families are going to stand up in court and testify. In that instance, Taylor would be cross-examining her former clients. This is a major conflict of interest with possible terrible repercussions. Please do not donate money. We are only looking for signatures. Thanks to each and every one of you. So my question is, how do you all feel about this? Is this a petition you would sign? I usually don't sign petitions. I usually don't involve myself in online petitions, but obviously this one's becoming pretty popular. You know, we're at about 2,500 signatures. It's slowly growing, you know, steadily growing. So, I mean, I don't think anything's necessarily going to come out of this petition, but it just goes to show how many people do feel like there's an issue with Ann Taylor still representing Brian Koberger. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a legal expert. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be. But from the outside looking in, I can understand why this doesn't look good. And at the same time, you know, I, I am feeling for the victim's parents in this situation. And I feel like the last thing they deserve right now is for their former lawyer who has helped them out in other cases to tear into them in a cross-examination to make them look however they're going to make them look. And judging by some of Kara's past, um, Zana's mother's past, and, and various charges these parents have gotten, I don't know if they would bring that up in court. I, I, I honestly don't think this is going to end well. You know, this is definitely a really weird situation, at least in my opinion. I don't think it's going to end well. I wish something would be done, but I don't think anything is going to be done. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments while you're down there. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell. And always remember, remain opinionated.